The other type of preservation that I constantly hear about that drives me crazy is spraying gas into your bottle. These lighter than air cans with argon or a mix of heavier than air gas pushes the theory that since they're heavier than air, they sink down and create a barrier of gas between the wine in the bottle and the air. And you hear all the time that these people that sell these tout that this is what's used in the winemaking process. They use gas in the most wine in the winemaking process, so it has to be the most effective. Gas is used in the winemaking process in a few ways, but what they're talking about here is typically a heavier than air gas is used to blanket wine in tanks. But no one explains the science behind it, that these gases very easily mix with surrounding air so that it has to be very carefully and gently introduced to the tank or to the top of the wine. It should be gently pumped parallel to the wine to minimize the turbulence. Wineries use diverters or floating diffusers that spread the gas slowly and evenly in the tank or on the wine. Come with me, let's do another visual. Here's a request I get quite often, and let's try it. Here is a bottle of wine, and again we've tried to color the gas in a way, and again this is smoke to try to make it visual. So we're going to spray gas in there, this lighter than air gas, uh, in one of these canisters, and we're going to spray it in, and we're going to let this bottle sit, and we'll see what happens. A couple quick sprays per the instructions down in. This just seems to be more urban legend. The same story is told over and over, and it's just accepted. But thanks for listening. I hope you've been able to dispel some of those urban legends, and we can all move on to some better wine preservation methods.